Okay, hi guys, Miranda here. Okay, welcome to my Tuesday Live. Well, that was a weird way. Hi, welcome to my Tuesday Live to this week. I have a bit of a croaky voice, so thunderstorm. I think I've got hay fever. Okay, thanks. Anyway, hay fever, I've never had it before. Anyway, welcome to my Tuesday Live today. And today we're talking about why connecting with your child is actually important. So why making time to connect with your child is so, so important. So this is one of my biggest things to talk about, one of the things that I love to talk about, one of the things I'm good at with my own kids and I know that I'm good at with other people's kids. So this is one of my passions, is connecting with children. So people understanding how to connect with their own child. So just stop for a moment and think about what is something that you do regularly? It doesn't have to be daily, it doesn't have to be every half an hour. What do you do daily or, what do you do daily? What do you do regularly to connect with each of your children or your child if you only have one. I'm just gonna take a second. What do you do regularly? Have you got that thing in your mind? Okay, how does that help you connect with your child? Why and how do you make time for that? So do you make time for this activity? So say it's reading a book with your child every day, okay? Because I'll try to do that with my youngest. I read a book with him every single day and that's a special thing we get to do together because he's only 20 months old and that means a, lot of, means a lot to him and it means a lot to me to connect together within that sort of time frame. What's something that you do with your child regularly? Could be daily. I'm going to use daily as an example, but I'm talking about regularly. So... And why, why do you need to make time for that? So making time for your child is obviously very important, but making time to actually intentionally connect with your child is super important because if you don't create that time when you actually can sort of control what they're doing, then they're not going to be that interested. You can't make them do that when they're 13. You can't say you're going to spend time with it. Well, you can, but it's not really the same sort of vibe when you're forcing them to do it. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure we'll all be doing it when our kids are 13, but if you've set that solid foundation in now, when they're little kids and they want to spend time with us, then that is so, so beneficial because your child's going to know that you want to be with them. So why is it important that we make that time? If you don't make that time, for starters, it gets filled with other things. If you don't make that time intentionally, we all know what happens. It's like if you want to catch up with someone for a coffee, if you don't book it in, it's not happening, right? Or it's not happening until you go, oh, oh, oh we've, all, we've suddenly got time that matches. No, book it in, even if it's just mentally go, I'm going to read to my child every day after they're asleep, or I'm going to read you know, do whatever you're gonna do with my child. Every Saturday morning, I'm gonna go for a walk with my daughter or every, whenever it is, we're gonna sit down and play cards together or whatever it is, okay? It has to be intentional, okay? So that making time to connect with your child, it's super important because otherwise it gets overrun by life. If you've got one child and you're at home, you might find that it's easy to spend that time with them. Definitely found it much easier to spend that time with my first child because she was the only one I had for three and a half years. And wow, wasn't that amazing? We got to do lots and lots of stuff together and connect really, really well. We have a really deep bond because of that fact. But with the other two, I still have that bond because I choose to intentionally take that time, okay? And I know I'm a stay-at-home mum. I am not working. I am not working at this moment anyway, but I am working from home. And I'm still, you still, it doesn't matter if you're a stay at home mum or a working mum, you still have to choose to be intentional with whatever time you get. You have to choose to be intentional with that time. Okay, so why is making time important? Because otherwise it gets overrun by other things. Why is connecting with your child important? I was going to do a little bit of a blurb on that here as well. So why, why do I go on and on about connecting with your child? I said a little bit before when they're older, they're not going to care about connecting with us if we don't connect with them. But basically, if you connect with your child, you are setting them up for better self-confidence, better self-esteem, better understandings, better just knowing that someone cares, right? Knowing that their mum or dad cares about them. Um, and this is the same with a niece or a nephew or someone like that. You know, same thing. I mean, if you show that you love them and you show that you care enough to listen to their stories and you show that you don't always have to listen to their stories, but that you care to listen to some of them and you ask some relevant questions, you are showing through your intentional engagement with that child that you value them. Basically, I want my kids personally, and I'm sure you guys are the same, I want my kids to grow up feeling valued, knowing what it's like to feel valued and to know, regardless of anything that happens, 
that I value them so, so much. And so does their dad. You need to actually show them, right? Just telling them, telling them is not gonna mean that much in the end because you need to practice what you preach. That's why that's a cliche. You need to practice what you preach. We don't have to be perfect, but practicing what you preach is really, really important. So connect with your child, make time, intentional time to connect with your kids today. I challenge you to, I challenge you to set a little routine in place only has to be 10 minutes here and there, all right? Set a little routine in place if you can. Um, don't let anything crowd it out if you can. Try your best not to and start creating those intentional moments because they will turn into intentional conversations and they turn into intentional living as you do them, as you connect with your kid. Connection isn't a one-time thing, it's a consistent thing like this, right? So that the kids know you are there for them without a doubt as they grow. And then you're the person they will be coming back to, all right? You're the person that's going to keep that trust, okay? Connecting with your kids, keeping that trust, always being there for them as much as you possibly can while still being human, right? Because that's important too, okay? do that see if you can do that today okay it's something i struggle with sometimes but it's also something i really really prioritize and want to get better and better at so basically how do you make the time for your kids how do you make that little bit of time what do you do what routines do you have with your kids pop them below okay so anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful day pop any comments below about what you might do with your children and have a phenomenal day see you later bye